on a day that he would be questioned by Central Probe Agency ED over alleged money laundering through illegal mining, Jharkhand Chief Minister Hemant Soren said that it's part of a larger conspiracy by the BJP central government to destabilize the Jharkhand Mukti Morcha Congress government. He also addressed his possible disqualification as MLA for awarding himself a contract based on the BJP's complaint to the Election Commission and demanded that Governor Ramesh Bayes should announce the decision quickly. More than 1,100 nominations for the municipal election in Delhi have been rejected after scrutiny, according to data shared by official sources on Wednesday, with the Congress's tally going below 250, the total number of wards. A total of 2,021 candidates filed their nomination papers for the December 4th polls in all the wards. According to data shared by official sources, till 10 p.m., the tally of valid nominations stood at 1,405, while 1,115 were rejected. Yesterday, the Bharatiya Janata Party slammed Rahul Gandhi and the Congress after a song was wrongly played in the place of the national anthem during a Bharat Jodo Yatra event in Maharashtra's Washim. The video of a song being played instead of the national anthem for a few minutes went viral as BJP leaders slammed Gandhi and the Congress for the mistake. After delivering his speech, Rahul Gandhi announced the conclusion of the event and asked for the national anthem to be played. A music was played while Congress leaders stood on the stage. Rahul Gandhi then gestured to the leaders and then the music was stopped and Jana Ganamana was played soon after. India logged 635 new coronavirus infections, taking the total tally of COVID cases to 4 crore 46 lakh 67,311 in the last 24 hours, while the active cases declined to 7,175. The death toll climbed to 5 lakh 30,546 with 11 fatalities, which includes 9 deaths reconciled by Kerala. Two deaths reported in the last 24 hours include one each from Delhi and Maharashtra. The active cases comprise 0.02% of the total infections, while the national COVID-19 recovery rate increased to 98.79%.